Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. If you were using an Android device and you just bought the new iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, I'm going to show you how to move all your WhatsApp chat history from an Android to the iPhone. But please try to watch this video from the beginning until the end so you don't miss any of the tips that I'm going to give you. Please make sure that you have the latest updates on both devices. Let's check the iPhone first. So I have the latest iOS version, which is 17.0.2 on the Motorola. I'm going to check for updates. And I have Android version 12, security patch June 1st, 2023. Okay, so I have both latest versions. The other thing that I want to check is that I have the latest version of WhatsApp on my Android. How can I check that? I'm going to open the Play Store. I'm going to search for WhatsApp. And if it's just say open, that means that I have the latest version. If I refresh it and it says update, that means that I need to do an update, all right? The last version I have is for September 2023. What you need to do is you need to open WhatsApp and you need to do a fresh backup. So go to settings, go to chats, chat backup. Here, make sure you include videos. Make sure what kind of email account you're using. Okay, here you can put daily. Keep the end-to-end -end encrypted backup off and just do a backup. I only have 65 megabytes. I'm sure you're gonna have gigs of data. So in your case is gonna take longer. You have to be patient and I'm ready guys. And the other thing is I want to show you what are the chats that I'm gonna move. If at the end of this video, you see all these chats here on the iPhone, that means that you did well, okay? I have a lot of chats, but the biggest one is this one. And you can see here that I have a lot of uh, pictures and videos. I have contacts, I have PDF files, Excel files, Word document files, all kind of different file types. I have emojis, memojis, stickers, voice notes, you know, audio notes. So all of this stuff, I need to see it on the iPhone in order for this transfer to be successful. So I just wanted to show you that. Now that we have that cover, I need to download an app on my Android device. Search on Google Play, move to iOS. I have it here, I'm gonna install it, and here it is, guys. Agree. It says move to iOS, continue, terms and conditions, agree, send up usage, automatically sent, location permission required. I'm going to continue while using the app. Device location requires. I need to turn on location. Okay. And it says if you don't see a code on your iOS device, make sure you are on iOS setup assistant and have selected move data from Android. In order to see move data from Android, I need to factory reset this iPhone 15 Pro. If you just bought the iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, or 15 Pro Max, you are going to be at the factory reset screen because you have a brand new phone. In my case, I already set it up, so I need to factory reset it. You're going to go to settings then you're going to go to general scroll down and it says transfer or reset iphone and here you're going to say erase all contents and settings before doing this of course you're going to do a backup if you have data if not just follow the procedures i'm going to click continue it said uploading data to iCloud. In my case, I'm going to skip it. But if you want to do the backup, just continue doing the backup. So in my case, I'm just going to erase the iPhone. Chances are you have the brand new iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max and you just open the box so the iPhone is ready to set up. This iPhone 15 Pro is already factory reset. So I'm going to open, move to iOS, Apple privacy policy, agree, move to iOS, continue, find your code, right? Continue, enter one time code. So here, guys, I need to find the code, right? But where is this code? This code is under move data from Android. So let's find move data from Android. I'm going to configure this iPhone really quick. United States, appearance, I'm going to keep it like that. Quick start. I'm just going to join the Wi Fi. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Data and privacy, continue. I'm going to select setup for myself. Face ID, I'm going to set it up later. Passcode options, don't use passcode, don't use. So I'm just skipping the options, right? And this is the screen that we need, guys. It's called transfer your apps and data. And here, you're going to see an option called from Android. So this is what you need to select, from Android. Move from Android. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer your photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. Download Move to iOS app on your Android device to get started. We already downloaded and we are ready to find the code. So I'm going to click continue. And this is the code. I'm going to click continue here too. And I'm going to put this code. 37934. Let's see what happened. And it says waiting for Moto G Stylus 5G, where you can select all the stuff that you want to transfer, that you want to move from Android to iOS. You can see what's up. All right. So allow move to iOS to make and manage phone calls. Allow uh, SMS messages. Allowed. We're going to select contacts also, calendar, 
everything that we can we're going to select google account photo library display settings accessibility settings and then whatsapp okay and here in whatsapp you're going to find this move chats to ios transfer your chats and media history to your new iphone you will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step very important so i'm just going to click start and it says almost done and you can see that it's only 69 megabytes and i'm going to click continue it says transferring data from Moto G Stylus 5G. I only have 65 megabytes. In your case, it's probably gonna be gigs of data. So this is gonna take longer. I recommend you to charge both phones 100%. One minute remaining. It says transfer complete. Apple is a little bit sarcastic here. It says recycle your Android device. You can recycle this Android device for free at any participating Apple store. So they just want you to throw it to the garbage pretty much. Okay, I'm gonna click done. By doing this transfer, you didn't lose any data on your Android. So you still have everything that you have before on your Android. You still have it here. The SIM card is here at the Motorola. If you're going to move to the iPhone, of course, you need to transfer the SIM card or the eSIM. Remember this iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max now in the US work only with the eSIM. So it says here, transfer complete. Your data has been transferred to this iPhone. Let's click details. And this is all the stuff. Messages, contacts, images, videos, photo albums, apps, 15 apps. Wow. And it says what's up here too. So I'm going to click done and I'm going to click continue. Now we need to sign in to our Apple ID. Sign in with your Apple ID and it says the two-factor authentication. A message with a verification code has been sent to your MacBook Pro. So I have the code is 275490. And look at this, terms and conditions. That's me right there. And this is kind of new for iOS 17, guys. It says signing in. Make this your new iPhone, continue. Set up cellular. In this case, I'm not gonna set up cellular. So I'm just going to put setup later in settings. Skip is in setup. Skip. Siri later. Emergency. Continue. Welcome to iPhone. Setup cellular. Not now. Add your Android device apps from the App Store. Add apps. So how can we going to add the apps? Require password for additional purchases. Require after 15 minutes. Set password for free items. Not now. You can see here, look, WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is getting installed. If you want to make it faster, you can stop the other ones, but you can pause them or you can select this one and make it prioritize download. So I can uh, just pause this to make it this faster, you know? Look, also this one, Facebook and all this stuff, but we want WhatsApp. Our goal here is to move all the WhatsApp chat data from Android to the new iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. And that's it. WhatsApp is ready. So I'm going to open WhatsApp. Agree and continue. WhatsApp would like to send you notifications. Allow. The same number we were using on the WhatsApp on the Android, we need to put it here. 954-740-2219. The code that WhatsApp sent to verify the account, I'm going to get it here because I have the SIM card here. All right? No problem. I'm going to click done. Retrieving credentials. Confirm the number. And it says sending code. For some reason, I didn't get the code. So need help getting a code. Verification options. How do you want to get your code? Send SMS or call me? I'm gonna do the call me. Let's do the call me. Look, this is this is this is what's up. I'm gonna answer. And that's it. I got my verification code. And look at this, guys. This is the screen that you want to see. Move chats from Android. Start. Start. WhatsApp would like to access your photo library. Allow full access. Now it's moving chats from Android. Next. I'm going to put my name here. Done. And it says, WhatsApp would like to access your contacts. Right now you will see numbers. After I put OK, you're going to see names. That's it. Everything changed to names now. And this is all my contacts. And let's check the chat that I showed you before on the Android. Let's see if I get everything that uh, I had before. Look, the pictures, the videos. I have the contacts. I have the PDF files, all the files, emojis, memojis, stickers, 
audio files, everything, guys. So it was 100% successful. So I just show you guys how to move all your WhatsApp chat history from an Android to the new iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, or 15 Pro Max. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings, chats, chat backup. I'm going to include the videos. I'm going to click backup now. And this is great, guys, because now I have my WhatsApp chat backup on an iPhone and also on Android. So I can use both platforms. We successfully move all the WhatsApp chat history from an Android to the new iPhone 15. And we use move to iOS. Everything was successful. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like what I do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that's the best way you can support my channel so I can continue doing videos for you. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video.